All right, so let's start with uh, the tone. Let's let's just try it out first, okay? Okay. Ba, 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 ba. So we're teaching a tone deaf American how to speak Thai. Welcome to Decode Thai, the Bubble Language School. Come see and Cap. We're trying to to make the series of video. Thai language is a very tonal language. You know, it's a very tonal language, meaning a change in tone changes the meaning that a person wishes to, to convey, and and that's why it's very important to focus on the tone marks. We're going to. Guy, teacher Paul, our head teacher from Bubble Language School, and myself is Teacher Banger. How many years have you been here in Thailand now, Paul? Oh God, it's been like maybe six years or so. Six years, and uh, the Thai. Um, do you think? Uh, what do you think about Thai pronunciation, man? It's always been really hard for me. I like if you ask me to repeat a song or any catchy tune, it's really hard for me to recreate it. Um, also, too, where if you told me how to recognize or differentiate the sounds, it's it's kind of hard for me to hear the difference. Right? Would you say that you're an auditory learner? I don't think so. Uh, maybe I don't know. Okay. Be uh, and and we're gonna uh, we're gonna try it out, right? We're gonna try it out because the tones do matter, right? And this video we're going to we're going to focus. Um, the five tones. We have the five basic tones, and we will also focus on the stress of the vowels. And the first, the first tone we we call the mid tone, right? And it's a monotonous tone. Okay. So let's say let's say it with me one more time. Ba ba. Very good. One more time. Ba. Uh, All right. Now, um, your voice sounds a little shaky, though. Skirt. Yeah, yeah, skirt. All right. Um, ba means to throw. All right. So, ba. <laughs> no, ba There's means... a tennis ball right over there. Right. right. So, ba. Mm -hmm. and, and this is a, another tricky part as well because the ba ba. This is a stress where we're going to focus later on, right? But ba. Monotonous, and you can tr you can try it at your own pace as well. You can say ba ba. Yeah. Okay, that is to throw. So make sure it is monotonous, right? Don't it doesn't go up, it doesn't go down. Mm -hmm. The next tone is the low tone. You should feel the vibration around your larynx, right? So it goes ba. Bah. That's a little bit too low, but, but is that all right? Right? But yeah, that's good. It's like the jungle man, right? Yes, yeah, that's yeah. right. Because ba, uh, ba, you know, that's funny because ba yeah. means jungle. Yeah. Right? So it's like kun ba. Yeah, kun ba. Kun ba. Yeah. Jungle man, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> so mm. kun ba, jungle man, right? Okay. Tarzan okay. or okay. something. Okay, I got just it. Call, we, we just call the, the, the low tone. Okay. Right. So, it's, you know, once you feel the vibration in your larynx, you know, ba, that means you get the low tone right. So, teacher Paul, one more time, please. Ba, ba. All right. Can you do mid tone one more time? Ba. Hey, that's good. Fist bump. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Wow, teaching a tone deaf American is not so hard after all. But we're only two tones. Okay. Throw it down. Okay, here we go. The third, the third tone, mm -hmm. right, is the falling tone. Right, the falling tone, I want you to imagine you stand at the precipice about, and I want you to feel very animated, like, mm. like, like you're about to jump off the cliff. Does it go up a little bit first? No. It doesn't. Ba. Ba. Right? It, it feels it, like it goes up a little bit first. No, it yeah. starts high. Yeah. And it goes low. Right. Starts high. That's why you. That's why you feel like it goes up, mm. because the start of the tone it's already up. Yeah. Okay. Right. 
right? So it's like, hmm. Okay. Like that. Hmm. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. All right? right? Like, pa. like, like, pa. Pa. Oh, oh. Pa. Yay! That's okay. good. Okay. Oh, oh my god, that's different from before. Okay, all right. I, right. Got it. I, I think I got it. Pa. That's great. So, pa right, right. means auntie in Thai. Okay. Right? So you will hear a lot when you go to the lad, when you go to the market. Right, you say Kun pa, kun pa, kun pa, krab, kun pa, krab. Right. Yeah, pa, right. Pa ying, pa. Yeah. Like um, pa dao. Yeah. Pa dao. What's pa dao? <laughs> no, just the name of a person. Okay. Dao. All right. So, pa dao. Right. Okay. And pa, kun pa, kun pa. That's really good. Pa, pa. Thank you. Yeah. And so, imagine you start the tone high, mm. and it and. It falls down. Yeah. Right? At yeah. The, standing at the precipice. Yeah. Right? So that is the falling tone. Now, the next the next tone, uh, based on my experience teaching Thai, this is where uh, it gets a bit challenging. Because the high tone, it, it's quite it's like a nasal tone. You know, it, it's between your nasal. That's why. So it goes really high. It doesn't. It doesn't change the trajectory. It just goes all the way up, right? So the high tone we say, pa. This one's always been the hardest one. Pa. Now don't change. Yeah. Don't change the trajectory. Yeah. Right. Just go. Just go all the way up high, and we don't change the direction. Pa. Pa. Ha. Okay, so start, Not so hard after start all, isn't part. it? Yeah, 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 thank you. Right? You're awesome. Yeah. Pa. Yeah. yeah. So uh, one of the things that, that I noticed teaching Thai in class, some of our students, they would they would use the hand gesture, mm -hmm. you know, to guide mm -hmm. their to guide their tone mark. So you can use this trick when you uh, when you try to practice as well. Pa. Like okay. Okay. Right. All right. Pa. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Okay, right? right, one more time, please. Ba. Mm, almost, almost, almost. That felt a little bit like this, but that's okay. Yeah. Right? So because it's ba, ba. Yeah, that's good. Okay. See, right. I can repeat after. Yeah. Okay. That's right. good. So, so um, the trick to to uh, mastering this, the, the tone marks, is that you can play the recording, you can play the sound over and over. And then, and then try to repeat it as many times as possible. Space repetition. Yes, sir. Okay, right, okay. right. Space repetition. Because once once you understand how the tone, each tone marks work, then then and then um, you won't have any problem. Yeah. Yeah. Like seventy percent. Right. And What's the last last one? the yeah. last one is the rising tone. Right. We like to call it the question tone. Oh, I I know this one. I know this one. Wang. Yeah, Wang. Right? That's right. good. So it's mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Wang. Right? So say it with me. Pa. Pa. Yes. So, pa, the high tone, the one that we practice, that's like a Thai Chinese way of calling you father, dad. Right? Pa, pa. You know, you hear, you hear a lot of Thai Chinese saying, they call their father's dad. Right? Whereas, pa, that is the traditional way to call father. You know, that was that, that was like 30, 40 years ago. But nowadays it's just a slang machine to that. <laughs> and also a slang when you try to treat uh, uh, three people meal. Like, oh, pa jang. Right? Teacher Paul, pa jang. Like, Dude, well, I my son says, hey, dad. Right? So that's that's the best. Right? Mm -hmm. but, but, but of course, uh, Ba, ba. It's a rising tone. Um, thinking, uh, thinking of it as a, a question tone might might help you. Okay. All right. So let's recap. Right. Please say it with me. Mid tone. Ba, ba. Low tone. Ba, ba. Falling tone. Ba, ba. Mm -hmm. High tone. Ba, ba. Rising tone. Ba, ba, yes, very good. All right, and 
ผมไม่เสียมเพียงครับ Alright very good now ไม่ we we would say เสียงไม่เพียงเสียงไม่เพียง Hey that's good man that's good now we also have the 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 stresses of the vowels yeah that the the, the stresses of of the words I'm sorry that 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 tends to be a bit challenging to to non Thai speakers mm. right and the first uh, the first one we like to call it the DT sound right. So we combine D and T, and it's very much like a Spanish, like ta 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 ta. Yes, that's okay. very good. Right. So the D T, right? Like, imagine like when you say stand, stand is that ta right there? Okay. Right. It's not stand. Okay. But stand, right? So. Oh, so that the, makes a lot of sense. Okay. So the D T sound, right? Mm-hmm. Say it with me, ta ta. That's really good. Okay. Right? And what ta does that mean? Means eyes. Ta. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Ta. Ta. The DT sound. It could also ta. mean grandfather. Okay. Right. Kun ta. Like grandfather ta. from the mother side. Kun ta. So what? Kun ta. Kun ta. Oh. What? Which tone is that? Mid tone. That's the mid tone. Okay. Yes. Right. right. So, so, so the these tricky consonant sounds, we're gonna keep a mid tone. Yeah. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna try to keep a mid tone. Okay. So the uh, so the D T ta mm. right T ta T tu tu te te to to yeah very good. So the trick might be that you might bite your tongue a little bit. Ta ta that was perfect. Okay. Ta that's grandfather. Yes. Okay. That can also be eyes. Or eyes. Okay. All right. Uh, what what's that one book? What's that one book? Mita. Yeah. Mani Mita. Mani Mita. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Mani Mita. Right. So, Mani Mita. So teacher Paul, yeah. when teacher Paul is talking about one of the oldest Thai pronunciation books. I mean, I learned that when I was young. I didn't. And, <laughs> and, and that's and that's why I mean it's amazing he came across that. And and that's the DT sound. Right, the consonant sound. The next one would be the ng. The the ng sound. It's akin to what we say like singing. Singing. That mm-hmm. 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 is that ng, mm-hmm. right? Is that ng sound, right? Okay. So, think of um, the word work in Thai. We say ngan. Kham ngan. That's right. Kham uh, ngan is two. Uh, me kham ngan kab. Right. So ngan okay. alone means work. Okay. But tham ngan, that's doing work. to work. Okay. Right. So ngan, ngan. Think of singing. Right? Is that ng ng? You should feel like that vibration from like the back of your tongue. Right. Ng. Ng. That's right. And ngan, ngan. Yes. Ngan. So if we practice something similar. Like just like DT, right? Mm. Go nga nga ni ni mu mu nye nye ngo ngo. Thank you. I forgot everything already. Okay. All right. Watch the video. Then. Okay. Okay. That's, right. yes, <laughs> that's, yes, that's yes. the purpose. That's why the oh. video is helpful. Okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> that's the purpose of recording the video. You can actually rewind. Yeah, and then you can go do something else. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So that's the ng yeah. consonant sound. Okay. Okay. The third, the third one is the one that we uh, mentioned previously. Yeah. Right. It's the bp. The ba 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 ba. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And it, it's um, think of when we say speed. Speed. Yeah. It's okay. that ba. Speed. Speed. Yes. That's right. Speed, speed. Now think of um. And the word uh, that that animal crab, we say, bu bu j bu dam da 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 da. Okay. Bu. That's really good. Okay. All right. Cool. Bu bu. Right. So think of uh uh. Yakin bu. Yes. Yakin bu. I want to eat crab. Okay. 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 So say it with me. Pa pa. Pi pi. Bu bu. เปเปโปโป yes 
very good. Okay, all right. So, well, uh, um, you 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 start with uh, your up your upper and lower lip together, mm -hmm. and then make a force like a pressure. Bah! Bah! That's really good. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. And and uh, these are the main tricky consonant sounds. For uh, uh, we we also have more, mm -hmm. right? Like the the tricky vowel sound, right? Uh, like the word. Uh, we we tend to write with like uh, u u and then strike through, right? When you see like that, it's the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, you lower your uh, lower lips, right? And then go uh, uh. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, so you, uh, yeah, so you okay, okay. like, uh, 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 you would hear people say, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, okay, it's that one. All right, uh -huh. it's more like, uh -huh. yeah, that's like, whoa, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. woo. Yeah. Like, it's, uh -huh. So it's not, oh ho. No, that, that's another variation. Okay, okay, okay. Like, oh ho. Oh ho. Yeah, I like that one. That I learned yeah. that from Artie, yeah, 10 year old Thai teacher. Okay. Very good, and and uh -huh, it's more like uh -huh. it's more like you see something that's that's so abundant. Uh -huh. like, uh -huh. So this is more surprise, right? Oh, right. it's more like surprising sound. Okay, like, uh -huh. and then this is like abundance. Okay, yeah. Like, uh -huh. like uh -huh, so much work, like nan yep chan, nan yep chan, yeah, nan, nan. Yes. Okay. Okay. Like like uh, like a, a, a word yeah. a word in Thai that has a u uh, stress uh, would uh. be mu mu. That's hand. La mu. Okay. La mu na. Okay. All right. All right. So mu okay. mu. Right. That that's the u uh, vowel sound. Okay. All right. Right. And we also have the um that o sound like o. Oh. It's not like an English for O. Like O, we're like O. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yeah. However, with Thai, it's just O. Yeah. O. Yeah, that's really good. O. The one that you mentioned earlier, like O Ho. Mm -hmm. it's, it's that just, one. It's that oh, one. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. It's kind of like a long vowel sound. Yes. Okay, long vowel sound. Got it is it. a long vowel sound. O. Oh. Like we'll get we'll get to more specifics when we when, when we get to the video of, of showing each vowel sound, right? But 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 we're just gonna point out the tricky, the the tricky sounds of the consonants and the vowels just briefly, right? This is again once again episode zero, right? And uh, we we have a couple more. The the aw oh, oh. sound. Like, like when we say like song, song, yeah, like all. Oh. Uh, so it's all one. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Oh. Like you know, you know, you know, number two in Thai. How do we say two in Thai? Song, song. No, say that with a rising tone. Song. Perfect. That's that, right. That's two. So I've yeah. been saying two the wrong way the whole time. Okay, all right, cool. All song. right, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, song. Right. What have I been saying then? Uh, well, no, I'm song. Yeah, song. Okay, and then I've, if I say song. Right, noon song. Right, noon song. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, if you start with noon, yeah, noon. people will be like, yeah, people but your would, pronunciation is terrible. People, people would get it, okay. you know. Yeah. But, but, um, interesting. To get the right tones, right? Yeah. To get the right tone. Yeah. I gotta act like I don't know too. I just go like song. Yeah, right? that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, man, that's mm -hmm. so counterintuitive for me, right? <laughs> Where like going song, right? To me, in my brain, is like, what question are you asking? You know, oh. and, then, and then on the outside though, it's that it's a sentence, right? It's with a period. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. So, so think of uh, think of rising tone as only the question tone, but it is not a question. It <laughs> a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. So that'll help remember. Uh, that'll help me remember it. Really. Right. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. like, remember, Paul, the rising tone is just only the question tone as a reference, but it's not always a question. Yeah. Okay. All right. right. Okay. Okay. Because the, because ties don't really like. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But 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 we 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 get that from like the Western culture. Got it. Right, you know. Got because it. Uh, we, for us, we just say <laughs> alai. You know, like what? Mm. Pretty much. And um, the word that has an aw sound besides song would be non non non. 
That's right. Non means to sleep. The word non means to sleep. Right. A change in tone would change the meaning. Non. Non. Yeah, that's a word. You know. Okay. And nowadays, when you see cute animals, they just say non. Okay. Okay. And then that's like a shortening of non. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They try to be cute. Yeah. You know. But it's the all. Yeah. Vowel sound. No. Yes. Okay. And no, no, no. and the last tricky vowel sound that we are going to cover today is the the U A strike through. We say U A U A. Mm-hmm. Like like the word tiger, right? We say S U A S U A. And then that reminds me of the bad one. Okay. All right. Yeah. And T-shirt S U A. Mm-hmm. Mattress, sula, sula. Mm-hmm. Right. So, like, it's the, it's the stress, right? But then the tone marks different. It might change the meaning, right? So this is this is why the tone marks really matter, and the vowel and the consonant sounds. Some of them can be tricky. So please practice. Right, you can replay the video and then try to practice more and more, and then you can record on your phone, play it, or you can send it to us. Teacher Bank, thank you very much for this. Um, I've been struggling with this for years now, and every time we go through it, this is not the first time, guys. Um, I learn a little bit more each time, and it feels like I get a tiny bit of clarity each time. So I feel like that's probably the similar thing for many students who are even learning English or another language, right? So uh, don't be shy, guys. Right? Like you're not gonna get it all right at once. Um, it's okay, right? Thank you. And again. practice, practice makes perfect. Yeah. The way um, we 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 created the term decode Thai for our program because some people have this the, this notion of like, oh my God, Thai is so scary. And Thai is really difficult. I mean, it is difficult, but it is not impossible. So please pay attention to your tone marks and the stresses, and we will guide you each video more and more. And hopefully, you will have your confidence in teaching Thai. So because if we can teach a tone deaf American how to sound like a Thai, so can you. Cool. All right, let's buy out. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.